Let's jump into our first match, Team Liquid versus Team Dragon Knights, and... Seraph just showing up in these lanes. Oh, Expecial, what? Whoa, whoa, Expecial puts himself in between the wall. Bumped once again. That could be him going down for first blood. The flash in from Emperor. Dominate's already on the bot side, though. They're able to clean him off. The Retribution kill comes in, and the TP is answered. And they, have they don't have enough time. At the moment, so TDK look like they might pick up the Dragon here. What do they sacrifice for? Dom's gonna look for the steal. Both, lane, both top laners looking for TP. There is a home guard onto Seraph, though, so he will be able to rush into this fight onto whoever he wants. And oh Dom boy. gets the steal. Oh boy, this is also a fight that Team Liquid can hit as well. Dom gonna go down here. They may actually not want the rest of this. Dom couldn't find himself or to, a way to get out of the Dragon Pit. Phoenix back onto the entire team. The bump on Ninja and Kez. They can't even put out the DPS. Seraph, Emperor, and Smoothie all now on the run. And they're really trying to pick up kills in this fight, but they cannot. They're headed for the base. And it looks like this might actually be the finalizing ace here. Liquid getting in for the rest of the kills. Phoenix actually went the high road, and he might be able to take out Emperor before he takes out Phoenix. One more kill. It's going to be Piglets. The auto attack coming through on a Seraph. That's the ace for Liquid. Six to two now. The landscape of that fight was definitely in favor of Team Liquid. 5,000 gold advantage before it even started, and then TDK tunnel onto Piglet when he's not even the biggest threat on this team. A team fight by a tier two, and then they just took the entire base. That's true. It, I minutes. mean, it could happen here. It could. It could definitely happen right here. There's the Ezreal ultimate coming in. Hits, it just barely what? touches Phoenix. Wow, that was... That's not something we've seen very normally from the Ezreal Altis. There's the, the Monsoon. Oh, bops him back. Dominate with a nice explosive cast. We could get a deja vu here of that dick game. Phoenix has been, just been doing a phenomenal job in this entire split. As a whole, he's been such a huge threat. You can see oh. they're trying to fight here. Dom, a little too far forward. Piglet, a little bit of damage peel. onto him, but they disengage nicely. Oh, oh wow, Smoothie comes in huge. They start to delete Team Liquid. TDK was looking for this fight the entire time. They got a little too confident on the side of Team Liquid. And TDK takes a grab of, takes a hold of that advantage. They still have waves to clear. That top wave was huge, and they can do they some damage control. Of awesome here. Guys. Look at that. Oh, Emperor. Oh, no. Oh. oh, his flash just came up. Didn't use it. Actually oh, used no, his heal. A bit of a fight back and forth. That's the second to third time Emperor has gotten caught in the start of a fight and causes the team trouble. Now down the mid lane, Team Liquid begin to push in. 45 seconds onto Seraph. They may and get Boss another turn. For this Blade of the Root King build. He's just trying to blow people up and look at that. <laughs> oh. Annihilated there. I looked away. I'm sorry. I looked. I had to. Uh, Time number four. He had 800 gold. A minion wave would have put him to 1,000. He had a pickaxe looking for maybe a Blast Whisper, but he got a no magic mantle. So there wasn't even anything he wanted to buy. Interesting decisions. As they get pushed Phoenix. tighter and tighter they got into the their base. Dominate, pushing everybody back. There's just no close here for TDK. They're always just a few steps away in perfect reach for Team Liquid to continuously do damage. Smoothie getting chunked down. The boomerang blade oh. comes on back. Because Ninja's having an okay game. His score line yeah. is one of the best on the brought, team. He def brought himself back up, had the chance to. Made sure it happened. A flash body slam Dom's that may forward. leave Seraph going down. Dom actually gets taken down by the Essence Flux. Smoothie comes in now. Big shots from Emperor. Those were the crits to come in along with the damage from Ninja to take Too down a special. Yes. And there's a few getting hit out. There's the kite back. Once Ooh. again, you talked about it before, Zyrene. They continuously pull back. A great amount of disengage and just pushing around, displacing the team of TDK so they can't get the damage they want. The damage is now onto the Nexus for Team Liquid. And 42 minutes on the dot, Team Liquid take down TDK. Our second match, it's going to be Enemy Esports versus Counter Logic Gaming. You just heard Werewolf Freak calling that <laughs> shot. The turrets were we going to take a look quick. at one Eight minutes for the first one in the bot lane. Zion Spartan actually getting it, taking to him in the top lane here by Flares. He gets very, very close. He's in turret. What? Uh, okay. Maybe just thinking Zion Spartan didn't. There's the fish once and again. Here too. Smithy just on the back. Whoop. Bops him back and forth. They say here's one for the other. Slowly going to take flares down here, and I don't see any movement on the rest of nope. the map. This is just a slow one. They're going to walk it out, hold hands as they go across the beach. That means he gets and the magic resist debuff. Flares That's nice. going to sting a little bit. Depth charge goes out over the wall. Playful Trickster. Yeah, he made it. 
Oh, he misses the drudge oh, line. No. He's not going to get a cooldown on it. He won't pass go. Do not collect $200. Well, Zion collected two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's true. He did. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Turn him upside knockouts. down, shaking out the lunch money. Looks like they want to do it the same in the top lane. Zion's bar with the TP in coming from the kill in the bot. Could he get a coast to coast double? And he does. Almost a triple, but that's picked up by X Smithy. And they're on to that next turret. Finally, still the mid lane. Just Inox and Pobalt are hanging out. But they're the up against the four and oh fits. Oh dear. And the rest of CLG. Oh. Huzzah! You know, it's starting to get tough when you, all of your resources Here are getting denied. This is exactly what you're talking about. It doesn't have to even be a teleport this time, though, Zyrene. Counter Logic Gaming almost able to walk themselves into the exact spot they need. There's the disperse from the explosive cast onto Body Drop. Whoa. There's the distance the to take down Trashy. Gonna keep going. Double lift can't get another kill on that one to say King Me and jump in for another. And they decide to back off six seconds on the Dragon. Perfect. There's a true shot barrage. That's actually a lot given up. That says righteous glory, and glory. that says we can fight Otter oh. right back. That was delivered on a silver and platter. Counter Logic Gaming really wants to put a nice buffer between them and any of the teams towards the bottom of the table. Here, it looks like they are going to do so quite quickly. Depth charge onto Pole Belter. Smithy makes sure to dodge it, so there actually is no retaliation. Flares. Now there is. That's going to be the Monsoon, or rather Howling Gale. Going to get them all mixed up this game. There's the Monsoon. We're just waiting for it. Calling the future shots. But a back and forth, really. These are ultimates being wasted by enemy. Time to Once the, the ultimates are down, CLG feels perfectly fine to go in, perfectly fine to delete the squad of enemy. And double if that's <laughs> King me, but he goes down, jumps right off the board on that one. A shutdown for Trashy. Got that going. They do. AP is going to be a little tough to take that one down. Still have a bit of attack damage to thread in there, but they can't really do too much. Smite it already to try and get it to double smite. One easy way to do it, back to the line. Oh, Inox in. displaced backwards. That's body drop instantly hitting the ground. Inox doesn't have a chance to breathe on this one either. Flares is the next target. The explosive charge with enough damage from Pole Belter drops him to the ground. And three fall instantly as Counter Logic Gaming runs into the base here of enemy and looks for the nexus. It looks like CLG want to take down enemy and bounce back from their 0-4 weeks. They could have done it without any kills. Unfortunately, Doublelift had to jump forward, <laughs> got himself killed. Why did Doublelift try to dunk? 15 to 1, <laughs> Counter Logic Gaming takes down enemy. But now we're going to turn our attention to our next match, Gravity versus Cloud9. For the boys in blue, they're in uncharted territory here. In the jungle in the mid late game and they're able to contest objectives. They'll be in a good spot, but look at this. Oh, Urgot's also on the side. Oh, wow, move going Keen very hard for no the hide flash. flash. Keen flashes in, the Hunter actually does not hit. He may have a bit of chance to get away, but no, Bunny Fufu already made the move from bot lane. To help doesn't now. even have Bunny Fufu level five, not six mid. yet. Six could be very, very helpful here to save Keen. Unfortunately, it cannot happen. Incarnation able to come up with a kill, tied at one oh, time. Lane, though, both junglers, both junglers look anywhere. for this. Keen flash. Incarnation oh, just got that kill. They want to soak that money back up. He actually may get out of this. No! The hit from Keen finally lands, taking out Incarnation. The fight is well onto balls. He teleports right into the fight. Those teleports happened at the same time, and the crowd control was coming from Hauntzer. That was known. 15 minutes on the clock. The ward wars begin. Oh, that let, actually let it, might it, cost die. him his life. Just to clear the ward, a good flash over the wall. Cuts that, slices the pie oh. just right. They're going to go one for one in the mid lane. Bunny Fufu -Foo did not use Stand United to get there. They were just going for some buys. Haunting guys finished up by balls in the top lane along with those boots. Whoa. Would have been real Here nice to have him for move. a teleport. Oh my gosh, these guys, they were just in the bot lane getting the dragon. They said, hey, there might be a party in the top lane. Are we invited? Lots of sure. gold for C9. Oh. Bunny Fufu -Foo does have ultimate as well. Keen this is not, they don't have vision of their own jungle, and that's exactly where Cloud9 was, coming out of the woodwork right now against Gravity. Sneaky on the top side, nobody's even focused on him. 100% HP, and he's still firing shots in. There comes the double, that's the triple for Sneaky. No eyes on the vein, and he's coming up big. More kills coming in for him. Actually, he only got the double. There was an assist before, but it looks like he could get the triple. Are they going to follow? They do not. High's trying to actually cut him off on the top side. You will have the chase Wee! coming in. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh baby! Got him. got him indeed. It will be a triple kill for Sneaky, and things just got turned around. Seeing how much gold he can get. Oh, my God. They're just... 
You're walking by them. No! Why would... No! This is what you just gave up! They trade sides of the map. Cloud9 still taking some significant damage, but like you said, after Gravity starts it, they might fizzle out, but they have the positioning to continue. The fuse is still lit. They could explode on the final members. There's one, a double kill for Move. Looking for a triple, but it's gonna be Haunter that picks that one up, and Gravity walks blindly into a 5v5 fight and comes out on top. If High comes in from the other side, he can still get deleted instantly. They don't try it. They want the fight over the Baron right now. That's going to be the Righteous Glory on the Flash. The connect to the, the shield up, though. Ball's trying to clear minions in the base. He's going to be teleporting out to this fight. He's now not in the spot he needs to be. That's a great choke point. Equalizer could go down right in that spot, but it decides not to. Cloud9 looks like they don't want it, but there it is. Laid down on all the members of Gravity. Will they get the fight they want? Sneaky on the key. Sneaky. Drops him. Sneaky can have Bunny Fufu and Altec as well, but the team starts to disperse, actually. They don't want the rest of the fight. Move is still alive, and he took down High. <laughs> High just distracted Move that entire time. That was actually a wild goose chase. Yeah. It happened all around the Baron pit. But still, everything all said and done, there's still Baron priority to Gravity. They can still start this up and kill it. Shen is going to give you a lot of damage when you attack it. You're going to be able to actually pick up this Baron with almost no problem. Sneaky on the outside balls. Remember, just to use the Equalizer. They want to at least get some vision here. Too close for comfort. He goes down. Sneaky fires Bunny Fufu, Bunny Fufu against the wall. Flash is over. Move could have the spear here. He's in the cougar form. Goes for the swipe after the pounce, and he takes down Sneaky after getting a good amount of kills. They actually got two more, so even more gold over to move for that bit of a shutdown. It's just so much. 16 to 11, as we said, the score that hasn't changed as both teams took a breather and backed off. Now on the final inhibitor turret here. Two inhibitors down for Cloud9. They're trying to hold off one more time. Gravity here from getting inside the base. It's not gonna work right now. They have to have the perfect team fight execution. Ball's already poked out. He, Move has so much gold. He's 300 behind Altec. Yeah. Still highest gold in the game. That This is an ideal, ideal scenario. All three inhibitors are down. Gravity is just looking to end the game with a fed AD and a fed AP. Zyrene, you came in here saying that it may be tough. They may not have enough damage. That was under the prerequisite that Move didn't get going, that they didn't have that AP damage, and now he is a kill on the inhibitor turret as Haunter takes down high. They still have eyes on the prize as they get another kill on the balls. That's going to be going into Altex KDA, and now they're on to the Nexus. It looks like one last push, one last breath to save the Nexus from Cloud9 as they go for broke. That could be Lemonation going down as he gets to the Fountain for Solace. Incarnation's going to be forced to the same area as the Nexus goes down just under 40 minutes. Gravity takes down Cloud9. And they keep their hold on first place. Now, did he use his Q to start that drop? I think? Yeah, Q's down for five seconds here. He has this fight just up in time, but Hook and a body slam. Ignite is on. Centaurus gives a first blood. What a great invade. In the end, gets the kill. And those deep wards. The exact health total is 328 right now, so it's a strong, strong breeze would knock that one out. But TSM making better choices. Kelly Troll's actually in a precarious situation here. 1v3 under the turret, gets Chomper, gets Ulta, takes a ton of damage, flashes the Jinx soldier, but still, the kill goes through to Santorin. Everyone stays alive. Gary, because Nian can't get behind his front line easily without sitting himself inside the pit. There's the pull. Dragon picked up number three. Oh, Ezra Santorin hits two. Santorin locked up. Will they get the kill? That's the first kill picked up. Kelly Troll flashes out. Porpoise survives as well. While Turtle chased by Nian, maybe over aggressive because in comes the really, really good Azir wall there. Uh, bouncing around Santorin, wasn't able to get anything off before he gets oh. taken down. Oh, Yen looking for the one on one. Up. Oh, close. Summoner heal. One more auto. Got him. Flame nice. Flame jumpers were. Yeah, he he missed those. Backwards, by the way. He uh, he panic e in his yeah. house in the wrong spot. It's going to be a scary one, then 30 seconds on Dragon number four. We've had very few kills, only the outer turrets going down on both Blank sides. coming in here, Maokai coming through some true sight. Dyrus checking up brush though, hooked in, pushed around, and Dodo though gets exploded, but Explosive Cast is going to be enough, and there comes Gordidlu oh. jumps on, Shen ulti is in, but Gordidlu still alive. The pushback with the wall, a one for one so far, but Lust Boys is second kill, a double for the end. In comes Cali Trolls, he catches Wild Turtle, who has nowhere to go. He's got to get real lucky on crits, he won't do so. A kill for Golden Glue, six to two. They kite away from Bjergsen, Dragon's theirs. And Golden Glue lives even without the Zonia. He was able to pull it off. The defensive what? item instead of Zonia. Yeah, interesting. Because it's not a lot of magic damage, it's just Ezreal, so... Armor, I feel like, would almost be more useful, but that's his choice made here. 
Bottom lane tier two under fire. As well comes by the oh, in. A big Wombo combo. He stays alive just barely. And it's actually the backline surviving. They're getting kills now. Dyer's gonna be the second one to die after Left Boy has already been killed. A two for zero with the turret. Oh, Dodo no, no. stays alive barely. All right, Righteous Glory, they're going in again and go! Oh, gets the Mystic shot in the face! Barrier was up, he's out. Spectre's cow was enough, it certainly was <laughs> not. Bjergsen with a save. Whoa, kill. yeah. That is your turret's actually massive. It keeps mid lane pressure. TSM are just one wandering around with no support at all. Teammates should just force this right now. They do have Ezreal ultimate up though. If that Ezreal ult clips the entire team, Dyrus teleporting in to cut him off. Whoa, oh no, too without deep! Out the team around. A bit of burst comes through, but Dyrus dies for free. It's a 5v4. How does TSM even want to fight this? Ez ult is down. They want to fight it with poke. That's it. They don't want to full, full on engage. Righteous Glory's down for about four more seconds. It's up right now from Dodo. His teammate want to go in. They're still afraid of the poke. The Ian zone is life soldiers. stealing. There's the taunt that catch Porpoise. It's gonna get picked up. Dragon 5 is in. A kill picked up though. And the point and clicks on in the end properly this time around. Cali Trolls locked up in place. Wild Turner and Bjergsen <laughs> stuck <laughs> in the pit. They're gonna get some damage. Cali Trolls getting a bit injured. It's a two for two so far. GSM navigate out. Dragon 5 on three members of the teammate. Oh, oh, they're gonna go in for Lustboy who flashes them back into the team. Cali Trolls gonna pop the ulti and tank up what he can. A lantern's in if he wants out, but they're just rooting him up forever. Good. Mid lane has dropped down though. A turret was killed, but Maokai fell as well. Five oh, turrets cool. with Baron up. Combat stats is actually a very big lead in terms of combat power. But they will TP in Dyrus. He dodged with the home guard, hooks in Cali Trolls. Fight has begun. Nian safe in the back line though. And in comes Porpoise. They knock around for Bjergsen, getting a lot of damage done. And it's a dive towards the back line, but really these guys can't help. Bjergsen's still alive. No one else really hitting him. Finally, the hook comes in. The shutdown through for Cali Trolls. Dyrus falls as well. A two for zero, but Turtle doing a lot of damage. He's got some help from Shen, but is it really going to be enough? Nope. Bounce house into the wall. Can't kill Dota Wait gets just enough shields. A three for zero. Santorin forced to recall and teammate have control right now. Yeah, they can get mid lane as well as Dragon they over the game. Five. They're going top for the Nexus. All right. It looks like 30 seconds here left on everybody. Only Santorin and Lesboy probably can't pull this one off. There's no damage from these guys. It's two tanks who have been held down. Golden Glue's got so much damage. He can annihilate these turrets. All right, looking for the sub 40 minute win. Teammate with their first upset of the summer split. Former first place TSM will get dropped by teammate. And that's gonna be the game, an impressive victory. Teammate finally coming together. We're charging ahead to our final game of the day between Team Impulse and Team Dignitas. And Dignitas, we're going to the blue buff, but now actually getting a little bit pinched off. I don't know if he got spotted. Kiwi Kid going to have the easy pulverize into the uh, He leveled up Q, Q too. Uh, Adrian leveled up. Oh, he up. has no dash? Yeah, he leveled up Q with the level one. Flashes, gets the knockup, and Gamsu's here. Misses the harpoon, gets that one. That's going to be first blood going over. Dignitas oh. Gamsu. It's because Jarvan has so many ways to gank a lane. And Alistar can set him up so well. Oh, Whoa, hold there's on. Jarvan he, there. Yeah. So. But Rush's going to flash just to get into melee range. He's got the energy now to land a Q. Helios is flashless. Keep in mind, that invade, very suicidal. Gets killed for it. Rush, comeback killed. No one's just risen. He missed the house. house went away. But keep in mind, their jungler mid laner are coming. This could be a 3v4 shortly with Xiao Wei Xiao showing up late. Rush is now cut off on both sides. His W is still down. Spell shield good, but the Pulverize still Ooh. comes through. Apollo down to half HP already. TP comes in from Impact, and the kickback knocks down Gamsu. What a great kill picked up. Shao Shao's in, stuns Kiwi Kid, but not the best target, of course. Impact still is too tired to be Meganar, but the Chain CC will lock down Kiwi Kid. He's going to try to flash over the wall. He gets away for a second, but still goes Shao down Shao to Impact. Shao Shao looks like he needs it, too. Three members converging on him. Will they hit the ultimate this time? Yep, there's the R-Flash. Shennel comes in, but here comes Helios. Goodbye. Kill comes through, but Rush has arrived. Rush is going to kill Shifter, and now Dignitas is stuck on the wrong side of this one. The team is coming down to pin them off. Kiwi Kid's leading the charge, though. He's taking a lot of damage on the exit. He has ultimate, but... A big combo to the back line. Apollo gets exploded. Kill goes to Helios. Gamsu arrives as well, and Dignitas ready to turn things around. Two for zero so far in this Shao race. Shao has ultimate once he gets back up. He would have to, like, buy home guards or something to get back out there on in time, but... Got a lack.
But I guess he values the move speed all the time as opposed to having a ghost for it. So, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Kiwi Kid not in the best of spots right now. Very low on health. Stunned up. Taunted. He's pretty low. Somebody heal buys a bit more time. A big pulverize. A lot of AoE. Uh, Core JJ casts an equalizer himself. And now Gamsu in a really bad spot. Flame Spitter Zombie taking a whole lot of damage. They're re engaged by Helios. Shut down to Core JJ. Traded back by Xiao Wei Xiao, who has arrived with the ulti and the ghost. Well, look at like that. More Everybody's kills here. Still for Team Impulse. Flash. EQ and are up. The whole team is in for the invade. Yeah, it, it looks like they're going to be okay. But here's the teleports coming in. Core JJ already at half. Equalizer hits on the two. Core JJ goes down to rush. That's Adrian also helping out with the stand United. So far, <laughs> Impulse are alive. A double. Double kill for Rush, one traded back finally, but Helios is the third kill. A triple for oh, Rush, but he's gonna kick him back. He's one hit away from dead. Shifter takes him down, a double kill for the Varus. Worth it. And here's the backline pressure, a kill for Apollo. Kiwi Kid has Flash, but he's so low on health, he's not gonna survive this one. A double kill for Apollo, another big fight for Impulse. Oh, yes, yeah, Core JJ with the but They gave up so much for nothing, mid. By going mid yeah. and taking that poke, they lose Dragon and... Well, that was double pink warded at Baron, so they didn't have time to clear <laughs> both of them. There, yeah, reason a bit two pink wards down. Ten auto attacks, a little bit too many here for these guys, but right. mid lane once again cleared first. Kiwi can flash engages, goes for impact, the root is on, they're gonna knock down Nar as fast as they can, but a big kickback buys some more time. Oh, impact is almost mega, and a lot of damage to the back line. Rush in the front, they get the kill on Kiwi Kid, who is still ultless. Two kills come through for Impulse, Helios is the third. Rush flashing Whoa. under the turret to make this happen. Apollo, maybe a bit too far forward, but still a fight. Like what by impulse to zero to do a uh Never mind, they're just gonna go for the flank. Got right him. away, they switch targets though. Gamsu gets locked up enough that he's gonna flash away. Doesn't equalizer until just now, but he's still gonna go down. Whiffs the equalizer on the wrong side of the fight, and here comes the oh. dive. A beautiful kickback on Shifter. Oh, Rush trying to get away. He will survive this core JJ on the run out. Team Impulse go for the push. Gigantic damage from Lich Bane Gold card with stacked deck on it. You're gonna see mid lane. Falling very fast. All right, that should definitely be an inhibitor. Then retreat back to grab the Baron. There's no time to push on any Nexus turrets, and you do not want to overextend for Nexus turrets, by the way. They are worth very little gold and experience now, and are pretty much just a trap for allowing the other team to come back. So Impulse, correct decision here. Run straight over to Baron. They still have plenty of wards up. Take it pretty easily. Three in a shot, shot. Rumble does have teleport though, so Gamsu might be able to come in and get a, one of those miracle equalizers. And he just has flash as well as uh, a sight stone, so he might be able to ward and make this with the flag he sees. That looks like his sight stone is out of charge, so he can only use the flag to spot this. Oh! Ah, Rush gets the secure on Baron. Goodbye, Helios. Another kill for Apollo here. TF ulti burned, and they're going to go for maybe some more picks, or at least the mid lane being pressured out. It pulls even farther in control. Yeah, right. just well, with the top. Top. And it's going to be the jump in towards Gam Goodbye. Goodbye, Gamsu. Goodbye. Prime Pack's going to kill you. The jump back on a Shao Wei Shao, though, but the taunt. Going to buy some time from Adrian. Still a shutdown goes to Core JJ, and Shao Wei Shao maybe a little Here's bit overextended. A kill for Kiwi Kid. Adrian's still taunting up, and here comes the rest of the team. Apollo is here for his second kill. Can't quite find his third. Kiwi Kid buys some time and actually kills. Keep trading back and forth, but it still ends up being, I believe, a triple kill for Apollo. The minions are here. The game is going to end. The two versus one. Helios will not defend this, and Team Impulse knocked down another point playoff team, their fourth win in a row. They have not lost a game in the last half of the split. And Team Impulse will win a 33-minute win oh. the final ace with Rush securing his eighth kill of the game. Fighting Helios down.